Good morning friends, I am your Karthik Ravan Katya and this is Katya Tutorials, right? So in this video, we are going to discuss about prostaglandins, right? So what are these prostaglandins? So they have the general formula that is PGXN alpha, right? So these they have the general formula PGXN alpha and it contains 20 number of carbon. So C20V, right? right? So this is about prostaglandins, right? So uh, what is this X, N, alpha, that thing we shall discuss with the structures, right? So, uh, these prostaglandins are nothing but these are fatty acids. So, these are fatty acids. We know, we have studied fatty, fatty acid, right? Those videos are available on my playlist, that is my YouTube videos, right? So, they contain C18 number of carbons, right? 18 number of carbons will be there and acid group, COH group will be there, right? So, however, uh, in uh, prostaglandins, we elongate it to 20 number of carbon from 18 we elongate it to 20 number of carbon so this prostaglandins also contain this COH group that is fatty acid group it contains and it will be produced in the in that tissue see here i have this tissue right in this tissue if some damage happens right so because of damage my body will secret this prostaglandins right my body will produce the prostaglandins pg simply i will write pg pg means prostaglandins right and that pg which is secreted in my tissue damaged tissue here there will be some receptors on receptors this pg acts and it will cure this damage right so that is the function of prostaglandins right so what are prostaglandins prostaglandins are nothing but fatty acids and which are produced in the damaged tissue to repair the damaged tissue by interacting with the receptor present in that tissue receptor right so this is the about prostaglandins right and they have got the general formula pgxn alpha right so what is this n what is this x what is this alpha that i will tell you right and they contain 20 number of carbon so we write it as c20 right so this is the basic thing of prostaglandins right so let us see here i have one tissue here i have other tissue right let's let me call it as a tissue and this is b tissue if prostaglandins same prostaglandins which is pr produced at a the same prostaglandins will be produced at b let us assume then also by reacting with the receptor here and here here it may give positive impact here it may give negative impact right so this is the thing of prostaglandins right so based on different tissue they will give different response after reacting with the receptor present in that tissues right so these are the few functions about the functions i will make one more video there i will clearly explain everything right so this is the functions of prostaglandins right so one more thing if i want to tell you yeah, these prostaglandins are only pro produced in mammals right that is they are only pr produced in animals right they are not produced in any of the plants right so this we study in natural products that too in animal system right so these are present in uh, animals right so once we have studied the definition of prostaglandins its functions we have discussed with the general formula and everything right so it, we it is nothing but fatty acids or sometimes we call lipids also because if i give you the structure then you will get to know right so let me give you the structure of prostaglandins right so this prostaglandins contain like this see here a cyclopentane ring will be there and here this we call it as side chains here right so see just 9 8 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 right so if i number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so this is the general structure of this prostaglandins right so now we are studying structures of prostaglandins right so what is the structure it contains this cyclopropane ring and there will be two side chains one side chain and two side chain right and how we should we should number we should number like see this acid group is there so we call it as fatty acid because this prostaglandins in the biosynthesis we will study that from fatty acid only we produce this uh, uh, prostaglandins biosynthesis within our body from fatty acid only we will get this prostaglandin that we shall see in biosynthesis right so upcoming videos so how will number so here 1 2 3 4 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी सॉरी सो हो मेनी कार्बन आर देर टोटल इफ आई काउंट आई गेट ट्वेंटी कार्बन सो द प्रोटा यूनिट्स कंटेन ट्वेंटी कार्बन Why we we call it as fatty acid? Because from fatty acid acid? Because from only get prostate glands and also there is a COH group, right? So these are nothing but fatty acid derivatives we can call, right? And also uh, this two chains we call it as side chain, side chain, right? Whereas the cyclopropyl ring is there, right? So this is our main. Main ring we can call right. So this is the structure of prostaglandins, right? So P G stands for prostaglandins. What is this X, right? So X C is nothing but based on structure of this cyclopropyl ring, X is determined, right? So for example, X is equal to A means its structure will be like this. So this is our cyclopropyl ring, and here keto group is there, and here pi bond is there, right? Other things remains as it is only here above. like this and below everything continues here like this right so i will write simply like this only so a means it contains six cyclopropyl ring and here continuity is there so i am not going to show stereochemistry is also very important this is above the ring and this is below the plane right sorry this is above the plane and this is below the plane right so these are the notation we use right this uh, dark symbol means above and this hashed bonds means below right so this is a Means it it will be if you say everything is same with the side chain, then it will be P G A, right? Because X is nothing but A. If the structure of this uh, cyclopropyl ring is this one, if the structure of this cyclopropyl ring is like this, ketone is there instead of pi bond here. If pi bond is here, other side chain remains as it is only. Then it is nothing but P G B because here X is equal to B right so this structures you should remember because this is the how you will nomenclature it right if you have to do nomenclature right so whether which kind of prostaglandin uh, it is so you should remember this cyclopropyl ring right so a i have given b i have given right if x this x is equal to c then what what is the structure so pi bond is here left side now became right side now same cyclopropyl ring with ketone and pi bond is now bottom and other side chain remains as it is this side chain i am showing it like this single bond single bond like this right so a b c you got it now x is equal to a b c d with the d i have yeah so c now what happens in case of d c ketone group is here no now it comes here c double bond do. other things remains as it is this is side chain this is side chain but here If OH comes below the plane, then it is D alpha. I had written in general form ma P Z X N alpha is there, right? Alpha stands for at C nine. This is nine position, right? If C nine, if there is any stereochemistry that is above the plane or below the plane, if it is below the plane, then it is alpha. If here I have one more group which is above the plane, then it will be D beta, right? So alpha stands for below the plane, and beta stands for above the plane, right? So this is the general notation, and also in glucose structure, if you see, if I write it in the chair form, glucose structure, we'll see that up, up, down. This is up, and this will be beta D glucose. Other things will be as it is only CH two OH. Right, so this is beta D glucose we call. If this OH, which is present uh, next to this oxygen, if this OH is like this axial position, then we call it as alpha D glucose. Right, so here alpha means this is below the plane, whereas beta means this will be above the plane. So we can show like this, right? Simply, but above means how we will show? We will show like this. Below this, how we show? We show like this. Same notation we make use in all natural products because this glucose, everything is our natural products only. Bio molecules, those are. But here we are going prostaglandins, which is also natural product. And here below the plane means alpha, right? So it is D alpha. I can call it right. So these are the things you need to remember. So pi bond was left. 
right now down here the ketone groups were there now ketone groups comes here here means what 9 10 11 c11 position ketone group will come and c9 based on only nine structure right if uh, stereochemistry is here we will not mention any alpha or beta only at ninth position carbon if it is below the plane it is alpha if it is above the plane it is beta right so this thing you should remember right so this side chain main chain let me rub this all and let me explain you other structure so this is what alpha it is right x is equal to d alpha right so here the x is nothing but this one right so once we complete this d next let us see this e so structure of e that is also very interesting see here i have ketone group but stereochemistry is here i have told only stereochemistry after ninth position will determine alpha or beta if stereochemistry is there at 11 9 bit 10 11 here no alpha or beta so this is the structure of uh, simply e uh, x is equal to e right so a means P, it will be pg e pga pgb pgc now it is pg d alpha alpha means at 9 position stereochemistry here no no stereochemistry at 9 position but 11 position stereochemistry is there but we are no, going to ignore it so it will becomes pg e right so pge structure so that will be the main cyclopropan ring and this side chains we are we, we it will be same with that and also what is this n this n i will tell you with this video only right so we discussed about structure e now let us see this one so what is this pg here oh is there right here also oh is there but here side chain remains as it is so see you should remember a means like this b means like this so a b c what is the difference only pi bond pi bond is left now becomes right now it is below right in d alpha here in, instead of ketone here oh will come and here ketone group will come right so here since 9 position below the plane means pg d alpha it is right and uh, again with respect to e same thing but here stereochemistry comes at this position 9 10 11 but this stereochemistry we won't mention in nomenclature so we simply write pg e whereas in case of this f this is pg f but stereochemistry is there at 9 since it is below the plane we call it as alpha right so this is nothing but pg f alpha if i do this structure in uh, f what happens here also oh is there and here also oh is there right so here you can see stereochemistry of this nine position only we will use in nomenclature so it becomes pg the structure oh oh means it is f since it is above the plane now it becomes beta here it was below the plane so it was alpha whereas here this oh is above the plane so it is beta so this is how we use the x so you i hope you got x how to nomenclature it so pg is prostaglandins x stands for structure of this cyclopropane ring if uh, x is nothing but a then we will get pga so this is pgb pgc pgd pge those things right so what is this n means alpha you got if c9 position if it is above the plane it is beta if it is below the plane it is alpha you got it right so what is this n n is nothing but remember n is nothing but here side chains i have one side chain two two side chain if anywhere if i have this pi bond like this so that is nothing but my n since here i have only one pi bond so n is nothing but one right somewhere if i have uh, other pi bond then n is, n is equal to two uh, and also one thing here also pi bond is there but we are not going to consider it right for example let me give you one example then you will get it right i hope the definition of proton in its general formula how to draw the structure everything you remember now right so let us do the nomenclature so that it will be clear to you right so here i have one structure see so what is the structure of this i told here if it is quiton and pi bond here then it is pg a it is right since stereochemistry is not there alpha beta doesn't exist right let us see the side chain right side chain 
Yes. COH I can write like this also or COOH with complete open. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, now 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And here I have stereochemistry here of OH. And here H will be above the plane, no doubt. Right. So this is the structure they have given and they have asked you to nomenclature. So first, what you will see? You will see this uh, cyclopropane ring. So it is A. So you have written PGA. Alpha, beta, since here C9 position, no stereochemistry we are not going to mention. Here stereochemistry is there, no doubt. But only at 9 position, if stereochemistry is there, then only we should mention alpha or beta. Here we should not, right? So here one pi bond is there, right? So our general formula is PGXN alpha. So alpha is not there. N means number of pi bonds in side chain. So here number of pi bonds in side chain is 1. So it is the structure of PGA1, right? So let me give you one more structure. Right. So let me give you the structure of this one, right? Right. Always this bond will be below the plane. This bond will be above the plane. Right. So now let me give you the structure. Right. And here I have it came below and here I should have pi bond. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I should do like this. Correct. Yeah. Why is blue means here H will be above, no doubt. Just to count the number of carbons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, C20 are there. COH group is also there. Cyclopropane ring is also there. So this is protonides. So PJ can write. So this cyclopropane ring, what it is? This is nothing but our E, right? This was A. Uh, you should remember now. So this is A. If this is like this, then it is B. If this is like this, then it is C. If this is like this, then it is E. So this is our E. So P, G, E. Alpha or beta not there because C9 position, no stereochemistry, no alpha or beta. So N. N is nothing but number of pi bonds in side chain. Right. So number of pi bonds, one is here and second one is here. So it is the structure of PG E2. Right. So this is the structure of PG E2. Right. So what you dis uh, what we all discussed. So PG means post-terminates. X is nothing but based on the structure of cyclopropane ring. X is determined. X can be A, B, C, D like that. So many things are there. And also N alpha is there. So N is nothing but number of pi bonds in side chain. Number of pi bonds in side chain. Right. And what is alpha? Alpha is nothing but stereochemistry at C9 carbon. That is this carbon. C9. It will be C9 if you count. This is C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if it is nothing but stereochemistry, you write at C9 carbon right c9 carbon so if it is above the plane then it will be beta if it is below the plane then it will be alpha like that you should remember right so this is the general formula structure uh, definition of protonines in next class let us i will give you few structures you should uh, nomenclature it and i will if anything extra is there that i will tell you in the next class till then take care and have a great